Hello everyone, welcome to my follow-up for Daydream Nation by Sonic Youth. I think that this album is quite nice and quite good. Uh, there's a few rough spots, but overall I think it's quite impressive uh, and definitely worth talking about here. So I will give my ratings right here. And uh, let's just go track by track on this puppy, shall we? Uh, Teenage Riot. Kind of the alt-rock poster child, right? Great riff, very catchy. I can see the appeal for this one. Uh, Silver Rocket, not a fan of the first punky half, but the noisy breakdown is chunky and fun. The Sprawl, not my favorite of the longer tracks, but it, it's got some cool work in it. It's almost quasi-post-rock in some ways. Cross the Breeze, Jangle Pop intro. Man, lots of energy here, and it feels like a proper realization of some of the ideas they were trying to employ on Sister. Eric's Trip, I think, is the weakest track, probably not a controversial statement. It's just an okay alt-rock track and pales in comparison to everything else here. Total Trash, love the grindy alt-rock riffs here, even more so than on Teenage Riot. The transition into the climax is just seamless, and the come down works really well, too. It's my favorite on the album. Uh, hey Joni, really cool sounds in this one. The harmonics are really awesome. The verses are eh, but the guitar work overall is very impressive. Um... Providence, Haunted, Caretaker, Answering Machine, what? I don't know. It, it's just there. Uh, Candle is an all right track, has a cool riff and some cool guitar work, but it's a bit of an ugly track in a way. Uh, maybe that's an appeal for some, I don't know, but uh, I thought it was all right. Rain King, a very looming feel on this one, which is cool, kind of makes for uncomfortable listening at times, though. Um, Kissability, uh, like the yin to Shadow of a Doubt's yang in a way. Very dissonant riff and just fun energy phrasing throughout. Really nice. And then Trilogy, overall a pretty cool track to end the album. Hyperstation is best, I think, followed by The Wonder and Eliminator Jr. Uh, the last of which, though, I think feels kind of tacked on, but it's okay in its own way. Um, so yeah, that's how I feel about the album. Give it about a four out of five. Um, not perfect in my opinion, but it's really cool to kind of see how it sits, uh, in the alt rock canon and just the rock canon in general, uh, in the year that it came out in comparison to everything else around it. Um, kind of cool to see where, where it goes from there, but that's my follow up to daydream nation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thank you for watching. Godspeed.